Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about backdrops. I want to show you how I made a color gradient from dark blue to light blue and how I made my clouds. So let's go to work. Now for the paint I'm using, it's ordinary house paint, but I bought the matte variety. I apply the dark half first on top and then the lighter half at the bottom. The lighter paint is just the same paint mixed in with white, about half each. It's important to get the consistency right. If you make it too thin, you lose coverage. If you make it too thick, it dries too fast and it won't blend. I use a little tap water to make it a little bit thinner. And then the blending begins. I take a flat brush, about 5 cm wide, and make little crisscross strokes. Just mixing the paint. And now it's a simple matter of brushing and brushing. Adding a little paint now and again, brushing and brushing, until you get the desired effect. I finish with some horizontal strokes. This blends the nicest, I think. So there we are. This is a nice canvas for our clouds. Let's go to the next step. So now I'm trying to paint clouds in it. And I want to show you three types of clouds, really. There's this sort of misty clouds here that I've painted using a sort of dry brush method. There's small floating clouds up in the skies and there's the cloud banks that are often seen up, often seen on the horizon. Now you see a strip below that that's still blue but you have to be aware that our tracks are eventually going to lay on this level. So this will be sort of our horizon and uh, so you can see this as cloud banks that are rising up from the horizon. So today I want to show you how I do this. And for that I'm going to use this piece of backdrop. And uh, well, show you as I go. I'm using my old palette. It's been used before, you can see that. It's just a simple plate of MDF. I'm splotching on it some white paint and some dark blue. And since I didn't have any dark blue, I'm going to use a mixture of blue and black. Oh. We begin with some misty clouds and I'm very lightly dry brushing this, loading very little paint on the tip. I actually overdid it this time, there's too much paint on the tip. Now I rub it out till it becomes very soft, very distant. Now let's try a little floating cloud. I'm just adding some paint to the canvas, making a little bit of volume, give it a little bit of twirly upside and a flat bottom. Now I'm blending the bottom with a hard bristle. Just blending it out, taking care that I don't touch the upside. Those edges have to remain sharp. 
Now with another pencil, I add a little of the dark color. It's a dark blue. And blend it again with the hard brush. But the trick is to make the bottom soft and the top sharp. But there you go, our first floating cloud. Now let's try a few more. You see that I found a different pencil for blending. This one has a smaller tip and is easier for those smaller clouds. Now I add a little bit of dark color again. Blend it again. Don't forget to wipe off the blending brush now and again as it picks up paint. As you see, there's always room for improvement. You can always add little details. So then, let's try a bigger cloud. I picked up a larger brush. I'm just sketching the outlines of a cloud. Here you see me blending the inside of the cloud, leaving the outside as sharp as I can. And there we go again, defining the outside of our cloud. And we apply a little bit of the dark color again. Blending it very carefully. Comes the background of our second layer. So yeah, there we go. That's the first few clouds. I've got two meters done by now. Only four to go, so some work to do. To give you an idea of scale, I will place my experimental diorama in front of it. You can now see what it does with the scale of the backdrop. And you can also see where the horizon will be. Well, thanks again for watching and see you again next time.